Let's start. Let's start. Let's start. <laughs> and I am a Finnish singer-songwriter but I have been living in Poland for over 10 years. I was a student when I came. I came for a year's exchange to Krakow and I just uh, completely, totally fell in love with Krakow and that's how I originally kind of like ended up staying for the next year and that's kind of how I'm still here. <laughs> I had a kind of a classical upbringing as a child. I played the violin, I played in the orchestra, I had musical theory, I, played, I sang in the choir of my whole childhood. And then I had like a really long break. Like when I got into my kind of adult life, the music kind of fell on the wayside. I didn't really have any direction in it, I didn't know what to do with it. And I kind of started doing something with it around eight, nine years ago, when I got a ukulele. I got it so that I could uh, sing and play at the same time, and so that I could start maybe performing somewhere. I, I don't think I really play the ukulele like the ukulele is usually played, or, or how for what kind of music it's usually used for. I just took it as a kind of a something instead of playing the banjo or the guitar, just something that fits me better. Kind of at the same time when I started with it, I also I kind of got the inspiration of, hey, this kind of folk and country stuff I like and I can sing it. And it sounds also good on the ukulele, so that's kind of where I started building on it. I had a kind of like a good few years of a schooling of going to open mics. So for a couple of years I would go to pretty much every single open mic there was in Krakow. So I went every month to, at the time, Cafe Patka, now which you have here at Buda, and every month to Cafe Chaffe. The one I have the most sentiment for, unfortunately, is no longer existing, which is Club Herbachan in Nilupi Ponejago, where I started, where I had my first concerts and where I just was so surrounded with this kind of love <laughs> that was really lovely. I mean, the music scene is fantastic in <laughs> Krakow, it's just like, it's heaven. <laughs> you can find something at every corner. Partially it's a product of the last five, six years and then in another way it's been like a very kind of almost impulsive, crazy whirlpool of inspiration just this summer. This one half of the album are songs that are completely mine, written by me, the lyrics are mine, the music is mine. And then I had maybe five songs that I had the music for, but no lyrics and I couldn't kind of organically come up with anything sensible for them. And then one evening I had this thought that, hey, so I've been thinking about doing it kind of backwards of taking American folk songs and making Finnish texts for them. What if I did the other thing and take my songs and take traditional Finnish folk song texts and see how that works together. And I had this little booklet of them at home with me and I opened the first page and I took the first song that I had without lyrics and I tried them together and it looked like magic and it sounded like Finnish folk bluegrass which was exactly what I wanted to do. I took the second page and the second song and the same thing and it was like this oh my god kind of thing. <laughs> the bass player, together with his friends came up with the idea of recording in Hibisufka in Gestade, which was like a last minute save. 
two days before we were supposed to start recording and it was just the best, obvious idea ever because it turns out so well. Micha also recorded the whole thing and he also mixed it. Adash uh, also brought in a lot of the equipment and like helped with all the kind of practical side of the whole thing. And they were like the two that I started with. They were the ones that I wanted to make this album. The songs are very close in sound to just Finnish folk music. In the texts, I usually when I write, I don't really go for rhyming so much, which is like more kind of Central European thing traditionally. But I go for the traditionally Finnish, which is to have uh, alliteration, so the beginnings of words match. I really like that, and I think it works really well for Finnish, and actually much better than trying to get those long. Declinated Finnish words to rhyme. I just ho hope people like what, what they hear. I'm kind of um, happy in that I think we created something that I don't think anyone else has quite done. <laughs> record with them and now have the concert with them because it's a group that mostly I've known for many years now and I've played with these people for a long time and they're my friends. My dream is that when I come back to Poland in the spring the situation will start to get better and then I'm really really hoping that there will be a lot of concerts. I would like to take this thing on the road and you know show it to people. <laughs> 